Hey, you guys. I'm Andrea with Good Diaper Free. What happens when your baby only wants to poop while nursing? And how in the heck do you start elimination communication if your baby only poops while nursing? Today, I'm going to answer that question. Please subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll let you know when the next video is up. So when your baby poops while nursing only and you haven't started EC yet, um, maybe this is you, I think the odds are against you and your mindset. You're like, okay, my baby's pooping all the time, especially when I have her on the breast. How in the world can I do EC and try to catch these in the potty? And I know my baby doesn't want to do this, but like, why is this happening? And how in the world can I start EC? Why is this happening? Why would your, maybe this is you, but your baby gets on the breast and like you've pottied them beforehand. Maybe you caught a pee before you put them on the breast and then they just poop. The reason this happens for you guys is because your baby's relaxed. Your baby's like, oh man, my whole body's relaxed. I'm getting like massive amounts of oxytocin coming in. I'm connecting with my mom. I'm in the moment and like all the sphincters release. And then you have a poop in the diaper, which is where you don't want it. So that's a little bit on the why. And also maybe when you offered, so when your baby wakes up with a brand new newborn, they're going to need to go pee because of the antidiuretic hormone. They just have to. That's how babies are made. That's how we were created. We're perfect the way we are. We don't need diapers, but we live in the modern world. So what we want to do is when they wake up, we want to offer the potty. And here's a little toy baby I have. Her knees don't bend though. I don't like this one, but we would hold them over the sink like this. You see? And her knees would be bent and curled in because they're like this when they're first born. They're like those little balls. Um, so we would hold them over the sink right after waking up before nursing and go pss and <clears throat> And I alternate those signals. Pss and <clears throat> So when I alternate the signals, I'm also just kind of giving this primal cue. Like, So if this is happening to you and your baby's pooping while nursing, you could, and we're talking about when they wake up, you could prevent this. So there is a way to prevent it. I've started from birth with all five of mine. So I have a bit of experience here along with all the people I've helped with this. But you could offer a little longer. So they wake up, the hormone wears off, bladder fills, got to go pee, usually got to go poop because you got a lot of cell production and a lot of waste. That's why their poop is yellowish, greenish, mustardy because they are producing and then shedding away so much byproduct from building a body. It's pretty cool. And if they're exclusively breastfed, they're going to have this yellow mustardy squishy poop or like it's more like watery mustard. Sorry if you're eating. Probably don't watch my lives if you're eating. Okay. So um, in this, <laughs> in this and don't listen to my podcast while you're eating either, by the way, because this is going to go on my podcast. But um, what I want you to do is just take a little bit more space and time when you're holding your baby over the sink or the toilet or wherever you do that when they wake up. So we're holding them over, we're going and we're alternating. <clears throat> and I hope I'm not cueing your babies to go to the bathroom, those of you listening with babies right now. But I have to demonstrate how to do it because you might feel weird doing it in front of thousands of people like I'm doing right now, but I don't care. I'm used to it. So we're going to alternate this signal and then just wait a couple of minutes and see. Now, here's how you can literally see and try to catch a poop before you breastfeed after they wake up. So you can put a little locker mirror or a very small mirror on your sink and do this at your at your sink, or you can put it on the back of the toilet seat. And you can even find um, a stick-on mirror to put there so that while you're holding them in EC position over your sink or toilet, you can actually look at their sphincter. I know it sounds weird, but trust me on this one. Once I introduced a little locker mirror on the sink, it was a game changer because then I can see that they pee. But a lot of babies will poop first and pee second, and that shows that they're done pooping. It's different for every child, but just stick with me. If you have the mirror there and you can see the sphincter opening or closing, you can also see if they start to open their, their anal sphincter and they're like, that means that a poop is coming. So you have fair warning. Do not take them out of position. Do not think that it's too long to have them in position. Um, if you need to cradle them to make them a little more comfortable, um, for those of you who can see this recording, this this video, this live, whatever, you can have them in the nook of your elbow so that you know, you're not just like, gosh, is my baby so tired of being held up? But you want to give them a chance. So that's one way to prevent that um, pooping while nursing. The other thing is to be prepared while you're nursing. So and this applies to bottle feeding too. So don't, you know, don't oh, I only bottle feel, don't make me feel bad for not breastfeeding. I don't care if you breastfeed or you bottle feed. What I want to do is give you the option of what to do if they start to do 
the number two while you're trying to nurse. So here I am nursing my baby and sometimes they start to pop off or like smack a little bit and that's a signal that they need to poop. Um, so we've already offered before they, they're nursing or if your baby's super fussy and I get it, you can't offer the potty beforehand. They just like, they're like, give me a breast now. So we put them on the breast. I have a top hat potty in my hand and, um, you can get those at tinyandies.com, my other store or on Amazon and you put it between your legs. Then when baby pops off or starts to poop, you've got your baby naked. You might want to have a little, um, like a cloth baby wipe kind of thing, like a reusable, like a rag or something underneath her bottom, just in case, because you really don't want to get that all over yourself in the couch. But you're going to either just lift the potty up to be underneath her bottom, like so, if you're looking, or you want to completely take her off the breast, just turn her around in your lap and potty over the top hat right then. Can you see that? Okay. So those of you just listening probably can't see, but we're going to just make an easy transition to pooping on the top hat potty. Then we will transition back. We've got that little cloth that we had, right? We're going to wipe any excess, which usually it's a clean one with an exclusively breastfed child. You've got usually pretty clean. Like, did they have toilet paper back in the day? No. No. Like a couple thousand years ago, did they use toilet paper? No. Our bodies, and when we're eating healthy and normal food and diets that we're supposed to eat as hunters and gatherers, the poop would come out clean and you wouldn't need to wipe. But we have such a terrible diet and all this constipation issues that we get like poops that are hard to wipe. With a brand new fresh baby, they're going to poop pretty clean. And I always say it's a clean one. I don't even wipe a clean one. I don't because wiping these tender areas when they're new is not a good idea to do that. So you can put that cloth back on their bum or whatever. And if you're, yeah, so we want to have them and when they pop off or we would unlatch them, just stick your finger in and break the seal pull them off and put them on the potty. Usually they won't cry because they really have the need to poop and they're going to pause eating to poop. Once they're done with that, you put them back on, get a full feeding. Be aware that they might pee after that or there might be more poop. So I want to keep that cloth there just in case. That's option number one is a top hat potty besides prevention. Option number two is this wet dry pad. This wet dry pad, um, I sell these at Tiny Annie's. Oh man, these are so much better than the Cushies ones that I had with all my other kids. They have a waterproof backing and this really soft cotton top. So you can get those at Tiny Undies too. So you would nurse with this pad on your lap and just have your baby over it and kind of prop your knees up a little bit. So nursing, 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 maybe they don't pop off, maybe they don't signal, maybe they just stealth poop and they just start going. And because she's saying, the woman who wrote me about this was like, it's unpredictable and I'm scared because she's so small. Oh, you guys, I went to Africa when I was 20 and those women handled their babies over in Ghana I was there for dance and they danced with a brand new newborn's head flopping all over the place. And those kids were like walking, running, dancing, talking, doing all the things earlier than our American babies. And that is my unscientific, completely anecdotal (laughs) experience of that. But what I'm saying is the first thing that a woman taught me when I had my first baby was to handle him, to not be afraid to handle him. He's not made of porcelain. Obviously, you want to be careful with your baby and not do something stupid. But you also have to realize that it's okay to like hold your baby and to to move them around and they're not going to get hurt. I know you just, it's just new first time mom thing. Totally. So when the baby needs to go, you just either kind of fold this pad up a little bit and let them poop on the pad. Yes, I let them poop on the pad because why not? I can just easily rinse it off in the sink and wash it. Um, you can do that if you don't feel comfortable having a top hat or you don't have a top hat in your lap. And then When they're done pooping, you fold that part over on itself and then you continue to nurse. So they don't even have to let go to poop. And some babies can do that. I can't. I can't poop and eat at the same time. I don't know about you, but it's a little bit hard. You kind of need to switch gears and do one than the other. So depending on your baby, that's what you'll do with a pad. And then you can even use the pad, because both sides of this are so nice, to wipe her little tush if you would like to. Um, so that's how to do it with a pad too. Let me see my notes. Is there anything else I would like to tell you about this? Okay. The third way is if they poop every time you nurse and you're just trying to start out. (laughs) The third thing besides prevention is to have them in a diaper, let them poop in their diaper and know that this will pass and won't be that long. Let them poop in the diaper and just grunt along with them. So you're building sound association. It's kind of like when we give a child 
um, an apple and we do a little um, sign language like apple and we say the word. We're teaching them the language for that food. So <laughs> for the baby, we're going to teach them the language as well while they're pooping. Like when you're potty training a, pu- a puppy outside, when they go pee, you say go potty. You don't say go potty beforehand. You do it while they're doing it. So I look down, my baby's like, oh, you know, they look like they're smiling. They're not smiling. They're pooping. And you just go <clears throat> while they're going. And that is literally it. That counts as EC, you guys. High five. That means you've done it. And that means that you are, are absolutely making all this easier for you in the future by doing the sound effect, sound association while they're going. And then when they're finished nursing and you're done, you just change the diaper and wipe it all up. And the last thing I want to say about that is this too shall pass. They're not going to poop and nurse forever. In fact, it usually only ever lasts a couple of days to a couple of weeks. So just know that I'm still nursing my little baby in this demonstration. Oh, I miss having babies. Okay, so just remember this will pass. This isn't going to last forever. And that's all I want to say about the person who is worried about starting because their newborn poops while nursing. There are three different things you can do and also one preventive measure for that. Hopefully that makes sense to you all. Thank you.